looking at some fossils. Yeah, you have your, you have one named after you yourself. Oh yeah, look. Micah. Well, they're missing an H, <laughs> but that's okay. I'm glad my name is not Shale with ripple marks. <laughs> and it wouldn't be 4th of July here in Central Florida without overcast skies and rain. That's what we get every year, rain. I see a little bit of blue skies right through there. But the good thing is, we're gonna be spending the evening inside Disney's Wilderness Lodge. Hi everybody and welcome to the world of Micah. Happy 4th of July to you. We're gonna be having dinner here at Whispering Canyon, seeing what's going on for the 4th of July 2021. You guys are gonna to get to tag along now. Let's take a closer look. Got some towels here just in case you need to dry off because it's been a little wet here in Central Florida. Oh my gosh, it's so weird to walk in here and not see the tree. And this is where we're gonna be eating dinner tonight, Whispering Canyon Cafe. Since Trails Inn is not open yet, which it will be opening this month, we decided to come here. Are you excited? Yeah, it's it's like uh, our second tradition, our second annual Fourth of July trip to yeah. Whispering Canyon. So it's it's becoming a tradition, but we still love trails in, of course. It's just good barbecue. Yeah. It's good Disney barbecue. Like I said earlier, normally when we come here, the big Christmas tree is here because we normally visit this resort during the holidays. It kind of has a cozy feel during the holidays, but hey, anytime I can get barbecue. I'm here. You're looking at some fossils? Yeah, you have, your, you have one named after you yourself. Oh yeah, look. Micah. Well, they're missing an H, <laughs> but that's okay. I, I'm glad my name is not Shale with ripple marks. This is tradition to, to walk over the, the geyser here, a little water geyser. It goes straight through and out near the pool. Windows are fogged up. It's a little steamy outside. Feels good in here. Nice AC. People are throwing some coins in here. I see a lot of, a lot of coins. You know, this artist point, the, the restaurant in here was all themed to Snow White at one point. I can't remember, what, what was that called, Abby? Oh man, I don't even remember. But I don't remember, we, we, we did went, it. Yeah, we went the first time. And you got to meet the Evil Queen and then Snow White and a few of the Seven Dwarfs would come around and meet you. This is a table. I saw this at Epcot and I recognize it at Epcot because of this place. But there's more Snow White themed art all on this wall in the fire valve extinguisher over here caught my attention. It's a bull right there. It's like the most decorative fire extinguisher holder I've ever seen. Now even though Artist Point is not open, the Territory Lounge is open until 10. That's where everybody's going inside the, the Territory Lounge here. There's more Snow White art right here. That's awesome. There's a really cool map for the Territory Lounge. But right up here was the Snow White restaurant. I'm gonna see if you can still look in here and see if the theming is available to see here because this was awesome. Remember going in, oh yeah. Still is. Still is themed in there. It's kind of hard to see through the, the little gate here, but there's some trees in there and that was fun. That was a lot of fun. And the fact that you got to meet Snow White and Evil Queen. It's pretty awesome. Roaring Fork is open. The quick service area they have here is kind of a grab and go. It is completely open. They're still offering the mobile ordering. They got a pulled pork sandwich, bacon cheeseburger, chicken and waffles breakfast over here. You can get chicken and waffles all day long. That's cool. These are some of the dessert options they have. Look at this roaring s'more. It's like a s'mores themed cupcake cookie. Look at that. That's amazing. And then the campfire cupcake right here. Mickey brownie and a vanilla cupcake. There's some duck friends. You guys ready for the 4th of July? There's gonna be some fireworks tonight. But over here are the Cascade Cabins. I've actually never been over here. I think I'm gonna venture across the bridge and see what these are all about. This is kind of cool. I wanna stay in one of these cabins. 
and they're directly across from the main building here you just cross this bridge and it's like your own little private wilderness area and a little lake here too this is beautiful I've never been out here wow they have even got like a little grill area you can bring some meat over here grill out have a picnic was just telling Abby I love the way these cabins look they look so Disney like I could see Mickey and the gang like pulling a little camper up and staying here oh my gosh it is starting to rain oh no oh no we gotta we gotta run for it okay we made it my gosh every time we step outside it's like nope you're not going outside rain normally I wouldn't care but I got the camera and everything you know all right gonna head back towards the lobby look at that Monorail, Cinderella Castle, right there. That's a perfect shot. Never knew this existed right here. It's pretty amazing. You got the monorail right there, Cinderella Castle, and then to the right, spires of Space Mountain. Gonna head inside the Wilderness Lodge Mercantile. Gotta say hello to Mr. Humphrey Bear. Oh yeah, they've definitely gotten some new merchandise since the last time I was here. That is awesome. Humphrey Bear. Oh look, Snow White on a Wilderness Lodge shirt. That's interesting. I was looking at this. <laughs> Got some time to kill, so I'm gonna hang out. Just listen to the water for a minute. Got some rocking chairs here. Taking a little seat. I'm ready for some skillets and shenanigans is what it said on the menu. <laughs> shenanigans. Lots of shenanigans. It's time for Whispering Canyon. It's time to eat. We are seated. They gave us a uh, cocktail menu over here. I find it interesting that they had the old smoky moonshine here. I remember when that was really hard to find, the, the moonshine that they sell in the jars. But this is the menu. You guys at home can scan for the dinner. See what they have to offer. It's all you care to eat skillet style, family style. I'm looking forward to getting some food. I think I'm going to go with the pig. Lots of good options on that right there. Abby does the land and sea. The salmon, the chicken, the vegan sausage. Pretty good. Honey butter, that's real honey on top of that butter. That is some good stuff right there. And the drinks are served in mason jars. Gotta love it. Waiting for the main course, but I think we're gonna dive into some, some cornbread here. The mashed potatoes, meat, veggies. This is Abby's. There's some salmon on there, chicken, vegan sausage. This looks good, and all you have to do is ask for more of anything you want, and they will continue to bring it out. Just had some of the, the brisket, and these are the little wings they have. I got a rib here and some pulled, pulled pork. Lots of, lots of meat, good portion of potatoes and corn. I like to mix my, my corn and potatoes together there all right how's everything mm. looking moving shaking it's mustard barbecue sauce that is delicious got a little bit on my uh, potatoes here I like it it's really good all the meat so far very very good vegetables are very good Abby's plate she's doing a pretty good job she has some mushrooms on there we were eating pretty good how's the chicken it's really good the salmon's my favorite part of the salmon yeah, yeah salmon Salmon sounds pretty good. This is definitely a way to spend 4th of July. So ask and you shall receive. Ask for a little bit of uh, corn, the potatoes, and some more meat. And they gave me pretty much a whole other helping. Will not be eating all of this on this new skillet. Look at Abby's two little salmons. <laughs> That's perfect. <laughs> yeah, it's perfect. But this is really good. But I'm enjoying these little uh, piggy wings, they call them. They're good. That's all I'm gonna eat. And even Abby had some corn and potatoes. It's a lot. It's a, a lot of food. Totally worth the money. However, they are bringing us some to-go boxes, so all of this is coming home with us, which is good. We've got plenty to take home. 
Very exciting. <laughs> Didn't want to, you know, have this go to waste. And the atmosphere in here is just as fun as it always is. The cast members out here are always up to some kind of shenanigans. Well, now I'm completely stuffed, but I think it's time. Better than nothing, Disney fireworks. All the windows were completely taken. I was gonna go outside by the cabins, but you can't see them over the trees. But this is great. You can see the contemporary there and the fireworks from Happily Ever After. Finally seeing fireworks on the 4th of July. That's amazing. I can't remember the last time we saw fireworks. It's usually raining. You can't see them because it's too cloudy and the rain. And last year when we were here, they didn't shoot fireworks at all. There was no fireworks. Not a bad way to end the evening. Happy 4th of July, everybody. Well, this was a lot of fun. Had good food, saw some fireworks, felt very patriotic here at the Walt Disney World Resort. But I think our adventure for today has come to an end, which means it's time to say goodbye. If you enjoyed this episode, please click the thumbs up button. The next time you're here at the Wilderness Lodge, the Walt Disney World Resort, tell them World of Micah sent you. And I will see you guys on the next adventure. Until then, stay weird. Goodbye. Mm -hmm.